Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having Chrysler 300 this generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the fuse for the steering column is located, which fuse controls it, also we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So the steering column module fuse guys where you can expect to find it. We will demonstrate on this Chrysler 300 here. You have many hidden fuse boxes, some are hidden and today we work in just one that's in the trunk. Open the trunk, leave the carpet liner up on the back side. Underneath you have a spare tire, car battery. Behind the car battery is a fuse box. This is a closer look of the fuse box. Here you have four tabs that squish together, pull the cover out and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So the steering column module fuse, where can guys expect to find it? This is the front of your Chrysler 300, this is the rear part of the fuse box. Here if we zoom in a little bit, we need to come in that third row of fuses here. Now, coming from that side, that's fuse 38, 37, 36, even if it's missing you count the spot, 35 and 34. That fuse number 34, okay, that will be the one that you will need to check for the steering column module on Chrysler 300. So guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses, guys. You can see different fuses, relays, uh, that's the engine fuse box, that's the trunk fuse box. Those could be really hard to find, some of them, guys. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need a replacement, you cannot get one, you may be stuck, guys. So we will recommend to buy some, put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind, keep some spare ones. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.